Boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to access Boom Cards. Because your grammar review lessons this week will be Boom Card activities. This video will not only show you how to access Boom Cards, but also review a grammar topic that we've already learned this year. So once you've opened your grammar slides for today, you will click here to watch the video that I am currently making. After watching the video, you will click here to access Boom Cards. Once you've done so, it will open in a new tab. You will now see all of your classmates. It is your job to now find your name and click it. Once you've done so, a pop-up window will appear asking you to verify your account. Use the same one that you use when logging into the Chromebook. If you are asked to input a password, use the same one that you use when logging into the Chromebook. At this point, your Boom Cards page has appeared. If you scroll down, you will see the activities that you are to complete this week for grammar. The first activity to complete this week is the run-ons Fragments and Complete Sentences activity. I'm going to click this one and review with you. My Boom Cards have now loaded. I'm going to read every Boom Card. The first one says, Sentence Fragments, Complete Sentences, Run-On Sentences, Task Cards. I'm going to click the next one to move forward. This next slide gives me some really important review information. Follow along as I read. Complete sentences. Parts of a sentence. Every complete sentence has two parts. The words that tell who or what the sentence is about is called the subject or the naming part. Words that tell what the subject is or what the subject does is called the predicate, the telling part. The equation looks like this. Subject plus predicate equals complete sentence. Complete sentences. Look at the following sentence. The kids play on the computers. The kids is the part that tells what or who the sentence is about. That's the subject. And play on the computers is the part that tells what the subject is or does. That's the predicate. Sentence fragment. When a sentence is missing the subject or the predicate, it is incomplete. An incomplete sentence is called a sentence fragment. By definition, a fragment is only part of the whole. This can help you remember that only part of the sentence is present. The missing part must be included to create a complete sentence. Sentence fragment. What is missing here? Went to the park to play. Hmm. Even though you see a capital letter and a period, this is not a complete sentence. The subject is missing. Readers don't know who is at the park playing. You can correct this sentence fragment by including a subject. We could say the kids went to the park to play. That's much better. Let's take a look at the next example. What is missing here? Joey and his entire family. Hmm. Again, we see a capital letter and a period, but the predicate is missing. What are Joey and his entire family doing? You can correct this sentence fragment by including a predicate. Maybe Joey and his entire family are at the Olive Garden enjoying a wonderful dinner. Sentence fragment. Sentence fragment number one. 
Pablo and all his friends from school. This sentence fragment is missing a predicate. Include a predicate to fix this sentence. Pablo and all his friends from school play on a soccer team together during the summer. That's one way we can fix it. The predicate is that they play on a soccer team together during the summer. That's what they're doing. Another way we can fix a sentence fragment is Pablo and all his friends from school make rocket ships out of the hot dogs in the cafeteria. Much better. The predicate here is that they make rocket ships out of the hot dogs in the cafeteria. Sentence fragment number two. Ran through the forest faster than lightning. This sentence fragment is missing a subject. Let's include a subject to fix this sentence. One example is, the family of deer ran through the forest faster than lightning. Oh, now we know who the sentence is all about. It's about a family of deer. Much better. Another example is, the hungry little rat ran through the forest faster than lightning. We now have a, sen a subject in this complete sentence. The subject is a hungry little rat. That's what the sentence is all about. Run on sentence. When a sentence includes two complete thoughts and does not include the proper punctuation, it's called a run on sentence. These are the three most common types of run on sentences. The independent clauses are not separated by a comma or a conjunction. The independent clauses are separated by a comma, but there is no conjunction. Or the independent clauses are separated by a conjunction, but there's no comma. Let's take a look at what I mean by these. Run on sentence. Let's consider this sentence. We enjoy ice cream after dinner. Sally eats her ice cream really fast. Huh. You might notice that there is a subject and a predicate followed by another subject and predicate. The first subject is we. The first predicate is enjoy ice cream after dinner. The second subject is Sally. The second predicate is eats her ice cream really fast. So this sentence conveys two complete thoughts. We call each thought an independent clause. Run-on sentences do not connect the independent clause clauses correctly. There's a couple ways that we could fix this run-on sentence. We could simply add a period right here to separate the two complete thoughts. We could also insert a comma and a conjunction right here. So it could read, we enjoy ice cream after dinner, comma, and Sally eats her ice cream really fast. Let's take a look at this run-on sentence example. Jane wants to play the violin. She doesn't like the tuba. We see a first subject and a first predicate, which creates a complete thought. But in the same sentence, we see a second subject and a second predicate, creating a second thought. We have to fix this. Let's take a look at the three ways we can fix this run-on sentence. One, Jane wants to play the violin, period. She doesn't like the tuba. In this way, to fix the run-on sentence, we simply separated the two thoughts with a period. And then we began the second thought with a capital letter. The second way we can fix this is, Jane wants to play the violin, comma, since she doesn't like the tuba. In this example, we simply added a comma and a conjunction. Our third way that we can fix this. Jane wants to play the violin, semicolon, she doesn't like the tuba. In this way of fixing the run-on sentence, 
We simply separated the two complete thoughts using a semicolon, and we did not capitalize the first word of the second complete thought. A semicolon is how we can separate two complete thoughts. Here's another example. Run on sentence. Mrs. Lewis loves teaching. She enjoys the kids so much. Oh boy, we have two complete thoughts, two subjects and two predicates in one sentence. We just have to fix it. Our first way is by separating the two complete thoughts with a period. Mrs. Lewis loves teaching. She enjoys the kids so much. Our second way of fixing this is by adding a comma and a conjunction. Mrs. Lewis loves teaching and she enjoys the kids so much. Our third way of fixing this is by separating the two thoughts with a semicolon. Mrs. Lewis loves teaching. She enjoys the kids so much. It is now your turn. The last set of boom cards are questions that you must answer. You'll read each question and select one of the answer choices. As soon as you select an answer choice, the boom cards will let you know whether or not you are correct. If you are correct, great job. If you're incorrect, ask yourselves what the right answer is and see if you can try again. You can even refer back to your boom card slides and this video. Good luck on your boom cards, boys and girls.